Do you have Windows 11 and absolutely hate it? I know I do. Maybe Windows Updates decided to upgrade you from Windows 10 to Windows 11 overnight. Or maybe you just bought a brand new computer and Windows 11 was your only option. Maybe you really like Windows 10 and want it back. Now, even though Windows 10 is going out of support October of 2025, a lot of people just really prefer that operating system. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take a Windows 11 computer, whether it's the one you are currently using or a brand new machine that you just bought and roll it back to Windows 10. Let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, I'm Scott and on this channel, I teach Windows tips, tricks and other little secret ninja stuff you might want to know. So grab your coffee. Let's get started. So before we get too far into this, there's a couple caveats that you need to know. First of all, if you're current computer upgraded to Windows 11 from Windows 10 less than 10 days ago, this is a really simple fix and I'll show you how to do that. If it's been more than 10 days, you won't be able to use the built-in rollback feature and you're going to have to do what's called a wipe and reload, which means anything that's on your computer is going to be wiped. So you're going to have to install Windows clean and before you do that, you need to back up all of your data. If you're not sure how to do that, I'll put a card up in the corner where I show you how to properly back up all of your data. Now, whether or not this is a brand new computer or you're going to roll your existing computer back, you are going to need a Windows Media Creation Disk. So I'm I'm going to go through the short version here, but before you do this, you need to make sure all your data is backed up on an existing computer. You need the Windows Media Creation Tool. Once you have those two things, you're ready to go. So the first scenario we're going to tackle is a brand new computer with no data on it. Now on a brand new fresh out of the box machine, I'm going to go ahead and set up the Windows 11, go ahead and get it activated, make sure there's no issues there. And part of the reason is because there's a long-standing argument about whether the activation is tied to your Microsoft account or whether it's tied to the hardware. So I go ahead and activate it. And I also want to make sure that all the hardware is functional. So that part's done. The next step is just to create the Windows installer disk. And all you're going to need is a flash drive at least eight gigabytes in size. If you don't have one, I'll put a link in the description for you. If you have one, go ahead and pop it in your computer. And one more disclaimer, because I always seem to forget because I've made this same video a bunch of times. Anything on that flash drive is going to be wiped when we create this installation disk. So if you have important stuff on that drive, move it somewhere else or get a different flash drive. It will be wiped. When you insert the flash drive, you're going to get a pop-up similar to this. Make note of the drive letter that is assigned by Windows. That's important later. So the next step is just to simply open your favorite web browser. And in the search box, you want to type in Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. Now the first link right here will take you to the installation media site on the Microsoft website. Go ahead and choose your Windows 10. And on the next page, you're going to scroll down until you see create Windows 10 installation media and you'll see download now. Go ahead and click that. Just save it to your downloads folder. And then when it's done, go ahead and run it on the, this next setup screen. Click accept. Now on the next screen, we want to click on the option that is create installation media right there. Click next. Now, if you are doing this from that Windows 11 machine, you may very well get Windows 11 right here in the addition box. You can uncheck this right here and change that to Windows 10, but shouldn't be a problem. Go ahead and click next. On the next screen, it's going to ask you where you want to install the media creation tool. In this case, we want to choose that USB flash drive and click next. If you remember when I said pay attention to the drive letter of that empty flash drive, this is why that's important. You want to make sure you select that drive letter, in this case, drive T, and click next. You don't want to choose any other drives because they will be wiped. What, at this point, what's going to happen is the installer is going to go out and download the installation software for Windows 10, and then it's going to create that disk so that all you have to do is boot to it. So at this point, sit back and wait, and it'll probably take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. Okay, so the media installation kit is finished and you'll get this pop-up on your screen. Just click on finish. Have you found yourself stuck with a non-working or possibly pirated copy of Windows? Well, thanks to today's sponsor, KeysFan, you can be up and running again and 100% legal in about 10 minutes for less than $10. An unactivated copy of Windows prevents you from personalizing your computer. And if you want to upgrade your Windows 10 to Windows 11 now or down the road, you're going to need an authentic product key to do that. Use code AYCG50 to get 50% off Windows 10 or Windows 11 licenses. 
Use code AYCG62 to get 62% off Office 2019 or 2021. Simply search for the version of Windows or Office that you're looking for, add it to your cart, make sure you apply your coupon code, and within 10 minutes you'll have an email sent to you with a new product code. Go to your email and select the product key, go to Windows Activation Settings, paste your product key, then activate, and you're done. So at this point, if you're creating this disk on a different computer, then unplug the drive and plug it into the new one. If you're creating this disk on the new computer, then just open File Explorer and go to that first available flash drive and double click it. Remember what I said earlier about rolling back from Windows 11 to Windows 10? There's two different potential scenarios. There is the new computer that has nothing on it that you just wanna put back to 10. I'm gonna show you that first. And the reason for that is because one, it's super simple. And two, because if you have a machine that was upgraded to Windows 11 and you have stuff on it, the process is a little more complicated. I wanted to show you how to create the installation tool. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually do the rollback for both scenarios. We're gonna tackle the brand new empty machine first. And if you have one of those machines that already has data on it or isn't a brand new computer, you can just go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. I'll try to remember to put a timestamp in the description so you can just jump right ahead to it. Now, when you open that flash drive on the new computer, you're gonna see a file called setup. Go ahead and double click that and that is gonna start the installation. And in a few seconds, the Windows installer will start to run. And the next screen comes up, go ahead and click next. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna go out and find updates prior to installing Windows. On the license screen, go ahead and click accept. Now here you're gonna get an option on what to keep. Now in this case, you don't get to keep anything because you're downgrading. So go ahead and choose nothing and continue. You'll get prompted, do you want to continue? Go ahead and say yes, and then let it do its thing. You're gonna get a final confirmation that these are the settings that you wish to install with. And once you're happy with that, just go ahead and click install. And just like that, the installation process will begin. And now just sit back and wait. Now your computer's gonna restart at least once or twice during this process, it's perfectly fine. And in just a few minutes, you're gonna start getting the Windows 10 configuration setup, typical Windows setup. Just fill out the information and next thing you know, you are back in Windows 10. And as you can see, I'm already past that point and in Windows 10 and installing updates. And another thing I wanted to point out regarding activation, again, this is a downgrade to Windows 10. You can see Windows is still activated with a digital license. So there's no issues going from 11 to 10. Now just a little bit of personal customization and she's 100% ready to use. Now the next scenario is the easiest one of all of them. And that is for a computer that had Windows 10 and was somehow updated to Windows 11, probably through Windows updates. And you decide that you don't want Windows 11 anymore and you just want your Windows 10 back. Now, as I said before, 10 days is the time frame that Microsoft gives you to roll back without any issues. Rolling back is very simple and I've never seen an issue with that happening, but you still wanna make sure that you have a proper backup of your existing files because sometimes things happen. So assuming that you have your files backed up, it's been less than 10 days since Windows 11 was installed, the rollback couldn't be simpler. What you're gonna to wanna to do is just click on your start button and then click on the gear icon to go into your settings, go into update and security, and then on the left side, you're gonna see recovery. Click on that. And then on the right side, you'll see where it'll give you the option to go back to the previous version of Windows. Click Get Started and follow the directions. And in just a little bit, you're gonna have your Windows 10 back. Now, the last scenario is probably gonna be the most common, and that is for people who ended up with Windows 11 more than 10 days ago and also have personal stuff on that computer. Now, obviously, you wanna make sure that you're backing up your stuff normally, but you can roll back from your existing Windows 11 back to Windows 10, but very much like the first scenario, you're going to lose everything that is on that computer. So what you're gonna have to do is again, make sure you have everything backed up. I personally would make a list of all the programs that you have installed since you got that computer because you're going to have to reinstall those after you roll back to Windows 10. And the way we're gonna do that is what's called a clean install. And basically what that means is we're gonna completely wipe the hard drive and then just install Windows 10 
on it. Now, that won't cause any issues with activation. If you've got a machine that's already been on Windows 10 or Windows 11, it's already activated. It is backwards compatible. So if you had a Windows 10 activation and then got upgraded to Windows 11, you can still activate that Windows 10 without a problem. But the most important thing, and I cannot stress this enough, is make sure that you have all of your data backed up, whether it's your browser bookmarks, if you're logged into your browser, then that's fine. Those will transfer over when you log back into that browser after reinstalling Windows 10. Make sure your personal files are backed up. Anything that did not come on that computer that you put on there needs to be backed up. But if you're ready to do this, the process is just as simple as it was before. You're going to take that flash drive with the media creation tool. You're going to open it in Windows Explorer. You're going to browse to that flash drive click the setup file, and then the process is going to start. Most likely happen is the same as it did before, is it's going to ask you what you want to save. And again, since you're downgrading, you don't get to save anything. But that's okay because you've done all the backups yourself. We want to start Windows 10 clean, make sure your stuff is backed up, run the setup file, and then when it's done, you're going to have a brand new Windows 10 system that you can start over with, and then you won't have to worry about getting upgraded to Windows 11 later. And if you somehow get upgraded automatically like you did the first time, now you know you have 10 days to roll it back without a problem and you won't have to back up anything. It will just automatically put all your stuff the way it was. Now I know this video is specifically about rolling back from Windows 11 back to Windows 10, but it is the same exact process if you wanted to just wipe your computer completely and start over from scratch. The most important thing is to make sure that you download the correct media creation tool that matches the operating system that you want to use. So whether you have Windows 11 and you want Windows 10 back or your computer's infested with malware and you just want to start over instead of paying somebody to fix it for you, this process will work for both of those potential scenarios. Just remember, make sure to back up your stuff first. Now, if you're not sure on how to do that, I did make a pretty informative how-to video on how to back up your stuff. I'll put that on screen for you. Hope it helps. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.